y'all it is your girl Natalia Sheree and I'm back with another video to all my returning subscribers that again what is up to all who are those who are new to, to my channel be sure to subscribe down below because welcome to the style gang but in today's video excuse me y'all I got one little drink in today's video it is the I'm gonna call this the tea from the top series because I see a lot of HBCU 24 and FBSU 24, which is my HBCUs, they are, you know, talking about, oh yeah, we're going back and all that kind of thing. So I'm all like, whether in the loop going back, whether or not, y'all still need to put on game. So we're going to call this freshman dues and don't even think about it. Tip number one this is a freshman do. Do when you get on campus. Please make sure you do your own little personal tour or wait for your orientation leaders so you can know where your buildings are at. I cannot count how many times every year, because I'm in, I'm in former orientation leader, I cannot count how many times we've had to tell people where buildings were over and over again, even on the first day of school. I say the best way to do it, get that map they gave you in the packet, study it compare it to real stuff when you get on campus so you know where your classes are because i would hate for y'all to be up there and you're asking oh my god where's founders hall because your intentions are going to get you like yes that's freshmen do number one freshmen don't do not wait to the last minute again i repeat I'm going to take a sip off this. Do not wait for the last minute to find out and ask who your roommates are. Please don't. Please don't, honey. They make social media for a reason. You better use it to your advantage. Okay? Please do. Because I would hate for y'all to get up there and be like, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out um who is Jacacia, whatever the girl name is. I know I'm just making up names. If there's somebody named Jacacia, pretty name I just thought of the top of my head. Okay, don't don't come for me in my video. But um please do not wait to the last minute because if you wait to the last minute, and this happens to the majority of freshmen, you get in there, you're thinking, oh yeah, you know I'm nervous. It's my first time in college. We're gonna make some new friends or whatever. And you really forget about your values and what you what you have as rules as a person. Honey, please don't. Please don't. Now, this don't is about to turn into a do. When you do connect with your roommates, please make sure that you tell them what you do and do not like. Please tell them how you like things accordingly and let them tell you back because no stories at all, y'all. I remember my freshman year, two girls got into it over a water bottle. A water bottle. Because when they first got there, they were sharing water cases. Like, yeah, girl, you can take my water. Oh, girl, thank you. But then we got close to the end of, work, end, end of the semester. Oh, that girl took another water. Oh, I don't know what she's tripping for. She said, I can have one. People extend that hand a little bit too far sometimes. So you yourself, you have to know when to nip it in the bud. You got to let them know then. Um, pretty much tell them, hey, look, you know, I'm nice. I'm friendly, but... If you need something, ask. Just to automatically take. You feel me? That's a don't and a do all in one. Which leads us to number, I guess you could say three. I'm going to stop counting after a while because I'm losing track. Number three. Um, Take someone with you. You're going to hear this in orientation when I'm telling you as a senior to a upcoming freshman or current freshman. Take someone with you everywhere you go. Um... Your roommate is going to be your little guide when you're not in sessions with orientation leaders. Make sure you tell someone, make sure you take someone with you everywhere you go. Reason why, not saying um, the HBCU or for Valley Self is unsafe, but it's just better to have someone there with you. Okay? Because I would hate your phone dead somewhere, you ain't got no charger, you at... The, the little the little freshman party on campus and can't nobody reach you. Your roommates don't know where you at. They probably got their room. You're probably out there. Your room can't reach. 
just to prevent anything from happening, tell people where you're going, take someone with you, text them, keep a charger on you, and we will be okay. A good, good freshman don't eat and think about it. Because this happens, this happened my first year of being orientation with a lot of people go on social media and y'all watch, you know, HBCU Life. You know, MPHC is like the main <clears throat> Greek organizations on campus. Do not go up there thinking that you are about to be so close with the Omegas and the Kappas and the, and the, and the Alphas and the Sigmas and all of them. Honey, honey, Connecting with them is not going to guarantee you membership to their sister organizations. And also being around them a lot like that, just for clout, is not going to be good for your college career. I'm letting you know right now. I'm telling you right now. It's not going to be good for your collegiate career. Because you're going to be known as the girl who's always hanging around them. And they know. Especially at Fort Valley. There's nothing wrong with them. But make sure you're doing things productively. Like if you know one of them in your class, okay, great, cool. Or if you're in their pageant, I'll make another video about that. Okay, great, cool. But don't just be hanging around them and be like, oh my, hey, how you doing? Get out the face. They ain't got time for that. They have education to get just like you do. Okay? So don't do that. Another do, and then I'll just get into advice. This will be my last, like, do. Do try to make the best of your experience because freshman year is going to go by so quick. Like, it's going to be. Like, I was a freshman. I came in <clears throat> fall 17. I went to college straight after I graduated high school. And now I'm a senior. It feels like I moved in yesterday. So, take advantage of your time, please. Um, and then another thing also, make friends. True friends. True friends. You know, you don't need them sober, sober, sometime people up in your life, you know. Make sure you got some good, solid people around you because you're going to need them to get through these next four years of your life. You feel me? Advice. Um, I said this my first year being orientation leader, and I'm going to say it again because I feel like this is very much needed to HBCU 24. This is not just for my HBCU. This is for all of y'all. Remain, truly be who you are when you get to these institutions, y'all. What I mean by that, if you are a spiritual person, stay a spiritual person. Do not let the party life or the popular scene, whatever it is at your school, change who you are and what you like to do and what you have an interest in. Okay, you're going to be individuals. Be an individual. It is okay. When you, and if you get up there and you join these other organizations, they should highlight your individuality. They should not condemn you and dumb you down to be just be a part of an organization. The organization should highlight who you are. Okay? And that's just any organization. Any. Let it be an enhancement. <clears throat> Don't let it be a adjustment. Oh, that's a word. Let it be an enhancement, not an adjustment. And also, be prepared to grow. Um, I got told this my freshman year. When you go back home to those old friends who you left who probably didn't go to college or that kind of thing or they're working, when you come like Thanksgiving or Christmas and you try to hang around them, some people may accept your change because you're going to change, okay, because you're growing in a new space. It's a, it's a new space. You have to really be who you are with these people, that kind of thing. When you go back, do not be shocked. People may be a little bit jealous of you because you took your chance, and you took your chance ran with it, and they did not. I know many of you like, no, 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 they're my best friend. They've been down for me from the jump. I'm telling you right now, some people are going to be jealous and be like, oh, she must think she's better than me. You know, you over there at that college and stuff doing all of this. And guess what, honey? It is okay. It is okay because some people come in your life for a season and some come in there to be for a lifetime. It's just your job to make sure you sift out the seasonal people from the lifetime people. Don't ever get those two confused. And even with somebody you may not be able to talk to like that, as long as you know you still have their support and their love from afar, that is all you need. Trust me. My best friend goes to a PWI. I go to HBCU. But if I have a problem, I can call her. Me and her, we have two separate schedules. She's an education major. I'm a business management major. And she be busy with practicum and all of that great stuff. And then me, it's my senior year. And then we have to do major exams and things like that. But guess what? When I have a chance to the free moment to talk to her and she has a free moment to talk to me, we 
catch up. It is okay. It is okay. Trust me, you'll be fine. Another um, tip of advice, get involved. Because if you don't, um, college is going to be a bore for you. You're not going to like it. You want to get out. You want to go home and work and be around friends and family. Get involved. But don't be the yes person. Oh, like, yes, I'll join NAACP. Yes, I'll join NCAW. And yes, I'll do this program. And yes, I'll do that. Make sure you space out enough where you have time to do your work, where you have time for social life, and where you have time to do your organizations. And it's all a nice balance. Because if you overwhelm yourself with too much stuff, you're going to be running around with a chicken with your head cut off. Trust me. I know. Junior year, I was running around trying to do everything. So senior year, I'm taking a break. Doing the stuff I really want to do to set me up for my future. Because I only have one year left. It's going by so quick. And then also a, a good tip of advice. Because someone told me this. Get used to being uncomfortable. I'm going to say it again for that viewer in the back that's watching it behind you. Yeah, you back there. Get used to being uncomfortable. You are not going to fully get the entire experience of college if you stay comfortable all four years. Be doing things, do things that will challenge you every single year. Whether it be if you're a girl who is like, well, I'm confident, but I'm not confident like that, do a pageant. I promise you, you're going to feel so different and it's going to be a new light on you when you get done with that. Whether you win or whether you lose, just do something productive. Then say, okay, yeah, I'm confident, I'm outspoken, but I'm getting SGA. I'm not just talking about FEH, I'm talking about any HBCU. Get involved. Because if you're not involved, you're going to hate being at the institution. And also, another thing, when you're in your university 101 classes, soak in the knowledge. Learn the alma mater. Learn the history of the school, because guess what? That is your history. It's, historic, it's an historically black college and university for a reason. Learn the history. Be proud of the history. And when, they, when, you, when you hear someone else, excuse me for the tongue tightness, y'all. But when you hear someone else talking about you, your university, that way you have enough sense to say, hey, yo, no, look. Because I have pride, I have love, and I have a great deeper understanding of the purpose of this institution and why I am there. Okay? I ain't trying to preach to y'all, but I'm just saying. Take pride in where you're going and take pride of where you're at. Another little tip of advice. Don't catch attitudes with your orientation leaders, okay? Because they're the reason why they're so hard on y'all because they want y'all to get the gist of being at the university. The reason why they're going to be pushing y'all to get involved and speak up in different sessions and in the groups and start leading things is because they want y'all to get really immersed in the culture of the school. That's why they even signed up to do it. So don't don't fault them and be like, uh-uh, she talked to me like that one more time. I'm a, I ain't getting no uh 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 Please have respect for them. Have respect for the people who have brought that whole group together. Have respect for the advisors. Have respect for the advisors. Because they cannot do what they do. At all. Please. They cannot do what they do. Another tip of advice, um... Whew, it's a lot, y'all. Because I know some of the stuff you're going to hear in orientation and some of the stuff you're probably not, okay? You're probably not. If you can, um, link up with somebody, probably like a junior or a senior. Preferably a senior, probably, because they've gone through all the ropes at that point. Link up with a senior. Um, if you feel a good vibe from them, they're talking to you. Make them like your life of age mentor because they can help you a lot they can give you some tips and pointers that you did not know from orientation and how to do this and how to do that they can give you tips and pointers on professors to take and who not to take and we can get a check code at that kind of thing link up with somebody who's been in your shoes and preferably probably somebody who's in your department so they can warn you about whoever and whatever please do matter of fact if you're a business management major even if you're, you know, this major major, let me know. Link up. You know, if you're living in building three, you need pointers, let me know. If you're living in building six, I think, let me know, you know. And then even, you know, transfer students, if you're living in two or five or somewhere like that, let me know. Because I know. 
If you got any little comments, questions, concerns about how the week may go, I don't know about it. <laughs> because I'm not an orientation leader this year, but I can connect you if you have not done so already to your proper orientation leaders for the 2020-2021 academic year at Fort Valley State University. Also to all HBCU students, we're gonna make this we're gonna make it through. We're gonna make it through together. But I need all of y'all, and this is a main tip, especially now. I never had to say this before, but considering the pandemics that we're in right now, be sure to go to class with gloves and a mask on. I know some people are like, well, oh my god, I already know that or whatever. But honestly, truth, I'm being so serious. Like, I'm being super serious. Please go to class. And if you're going to be around people in the cafe or whatever, please wear your mask and your gloves because I know for our university, they're saying we're going back and things like that. No problem, but I want everybody to make sure that they are safe and they do the proper things to stay safe. You feel me? So please do that. Please. The other pandemic, we already know. It's been all over social media. Racism, Black Lives Matter. This is the thing, though. I need y'all to realize this. I'm going to get real serious about this. Some people may have came from predominantly superior institutions if you can read between the lines of that you, you see me and pause make sure y'all got it. I'm gonna say it again predominantly superior high schools <clears throat> so with that being said some people may not know how to switch over to the culture of HBCU like it's exciting for you but you're trying to figure out how to do it correctly Considering the time that we are in now with racism as a pandemic and Black Lives Matter, let me tell you something, because I was so hyped when I found this out. You have a voice, and guess what? Being an HBCU, even being a graduate right now, it allows you to do so. Okay, whether you can wear your black brands, you can wear your bandanas, that kind of thing, depending upon your major, you know what I'm saying? But you actually get to take pride in this moment right now y'all are very blessed and lucky because you all will be coming in in a movement and you'll be able to join forces with people who are willing to help within that movement i'm being so serious and then i got i i ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say too too much but take pride in it and actually there are, there are a lot of apparel companies out there where you all be can wear on campuses and things like that matter of fact um support black colleges that kind of thing wear the apparel be a part of the movement it is okay because now you're in a, sp a space where you can you feel me so yeah but i'm trying to see if there's any more advice for you all because there there was a lot of things i did not know when i got in college I'm trying to put y'all on game. Matter of fact, once I upload this video, um, this is all HBCU 24. I'm going to see if I can connect to everyone. If anyone has any questions for me, just in general, of HBCUs, of how things may go, that kind of thing, let me know. I'm going to put my socials down below because I want y'all to be good, okay? I want y'all to be successful. Um, not just for FBSU, but HBCUs in general. Um, I'm going to put a QA and a if you are not following me on Instagram. That's going to be linked down below. If you're not following me on Twitter, it's going to be linked down below as well. I don't really use Snapchat like that, but I'll put it down there. But, yeah, if y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you follow me. Please, if you need any help, if you, even if you need somebody to talk to, let me know. Because I've probably been there before. Never know. But thanks again, y'all, for watching. If you like this video, go like it, go comment, go share, and most importantly, subscribe. Let's keep growing this style of game because I'm trying to get this to about, let's see if we can get to 1K. Okay? The goal is 1K right now. But then from 1K, we're going to 5. From 5, we're going to 10. From 10, we're going to 50. From 50, we're going to 100. You know, we're going to keep growing. But let's get this to 1K. If I can get 1K subscribers, I will do a, let's see, I will do a $100 giveaway. How about that? Because I know y'all need the money for schools and things like that. I will, if we can, once I get to 1K, I will do a $100 giveaway. Plus, I may even send a gift. 
And then who knows if the videos keep going and things keep going, I may even increase it. Let's go. Let's go. $100 giveaway. 1K, 100 giveaway. Let's go. Thank y'all again for watching my video. Style again. You know what's up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all again in the next video. Hey, hey. If you know, then drop it down below. Peace out, y'all.